All right, so we just finished cycle number seven. What? Seven. Six, which is still. Yeah. yeah. Six actual one that's gotten to egg retrieval. Yeah. The first one got cancelled. Right. So number seven. Mm. I think I was really psyched out by the one cycle number six, the one we did before. Because cycle number six, when we went in for the follicle scans, we got very few follicles, but then mm. we got a really great number of eggs for us. For us. And the... Um, the medication was the same, so we went with this exactly the same medication because we were like, you know, we got our best numbers on it. So I think I was kind of secretly hopeful. Mm. I was. Kind of not a great way to be. But anyway, you got to be hopeful, but yeah, we were. So, mm. so mm. I handled it pretty well. Right, I was pretty um, hormonal, pretty emotional. Where was that? After. No or dream, during. like in the early oh, part. It was a, it was a, it I have weird dreams, cycle. weird dreams and stuff. It was a good cycle. Yeah. A couple of times. And we filmed a lot. <laughs> but anyway, so we everything was kind of going normal. And I, on day nine, I went in for my scan. Actually, it was day ten, ten I went in for my scan. Mm. And there was kind of like two big follicles at measuring at like 15, 16. One medium size one at like 14, 13. Mm. And then a bunch of really tiny ones that were like less than 10. Mm. Not even a bunch, not many. So there really was only kind of three follicles showing. Five, maybe. Mm. Sounds very vague, but it is kind of vague. Yeah, yeah there, there, were, there were like five either side, but like heaps of them were really small. Really small. And there were only sort of a couple that were, that were leading the mm. chart. But anyway, I was still kind of holding on hope because the, the previous cycle I was like, okay, we'll be... Mm -hmm. It went kind of well, mm -hmm. and we got four, which was a big number for us. It's mm -hmm. the biggest we'd ever gotten. Yeah. But anyway, we went in for the retrieval, and and I didn't know until I got called up to come in after your recovery. Yeah, recovery. so I woke up from the surgery, and um, my doctor sort of said, "Oh, how many have you got now?" And I said, "Oh, 15. We got three out of the surgery. She retrieved three. Yeah. And I said, I've got 15 plus the three that we just got this cycle. And I, now that I think about it, I saw it on her face. Mm -hmm. She sort of said, well, if these eggs are mature and we can use them. And I sort of went, yeah, of course, if they're mature. But in, in my head, I was thinking, of course, they'll be mature. We always get three. Mm -hmm. three. Like three is mm -hmm. our average. Mm -hmm. That's what we usually get. Um, yeah. Or at least two. We've never gotten less than two. So... She left it at that, and I sort of said that we're going to keep doing retrievals until your doctor can fit you in. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was taken to recovery. I woke up pretty well, really. I just, I'm so used to it now. It's so, like, routine. You did have the blood pressure. You were in there a while. That's right. My blood pressure, my blood pressure was really low. Um, so they gave me, like, fluids, and I had a rash as well, and, like, it just, I don't know, I just woke up fine. But anyway, in there a while. I came out into the, um recovery area and that's when we got the call from the embryologist mm. and yeah you know, one too. one made it to the freezer one was abnormal and one was immature that, i'd never heard i'd never had an abnormal egg before i don't really know at this stage what that means and i want to find out a little bit more about that and that can that can be come back to like consistency of language and that might be just the way she frames it but we we've, we've, we've got that down as one of the questions to ask um yeah. us ask our doctor next week but i mean it's kind of weird because we are kind of seasoned <coughs> ivf warriors like in mm. a way we were like okay well that's just that is what it is but can't help being a little bit disappointed because it is the poorest result we've had oh yeah in six retrievals though in saying that we got one, so... That's what we've been trying to focus on, to be like, okay, well, we got one. We made some progress. If, if that is the one that... It makes a kid. That makes makes our kid, then. Kids, kids, kids. But still, it just makes the journey feel longer, because we're told that we need to have 20. We had 15, and now we have 16. Mm. We normally get <laughs> we normally get three or four every retrieval, so getting one was like... But I'm kind of holding on to that idea that I do better with back-to-back -back retrievals. Mm -hmm. I know most women don't, but mm -hmm. for me that works better. So, mm -hmm. so but it's been disappointing. I think it's been harder to recover from this retrieval because I've just been like, I don't know, the, the painkillers kind of make me feel a little down as well. And then when you add to Well, that, I think the painkillers help, but the thing is then you've got to come off the painkillers, which... 
yeah. sort of create that that bigger depression. And what it's meant now as well is that we've had to cancel John's surgery and move it back again, yeah. which I really didn't want to do. And if I'd been able to get in, if I'd been able to produce some, if I could have gone, I could have almost had 20 by now if I produced four, but mm. I didn't. So I don't know. You just keep coming back, back to it. it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. But gee, it's a hard road. Because mm. it just means now, I was hoping to maybe do like maybe two more retrievals, but I'm going to have to do three. I might have to do more. And maybe we'll just call it at some point and go in with whatever eggs we have. Yeah. I'm just happy I don't have to have my ball attacked for another two months. Which doesn't really help. That doesn't help because I have to have more surgeries. I know. You need to have more surgeries. (laughs) It's fine. I know you're just joking. I'm just joking. So yeah, that was cycle number seven. We won't be moving it again. So uh, once once we get that date, that'll be that'll be what we're. Are you sure? Why? Oh, but... Yeah. So... Well, we actually don't know. We don't we should know. learn. This is the thing. Every we time we learn. make plans, IVF just goes... Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. No. Screw your plans. So, yeah. There's, there's no, no point in planning. We're going no to book, book a time in, and then we'll we'll do our best to... There's no planning in IVF. Arrange. Like, there's no crying in baseball. There's no planning in IVF. And we just... Yeah. But I'm just a bit... like. I think just because we'd had a good cycle where we got more, like we'd already re- lowered our expectations. I mean, other women get 12 and 29 and, <laughs> and so we were like, okay, so my average is three. Good. And then we got four and we were like, yay. yay. And then we got one and we're like, bonus. Oh. Mm. So in a couple of days time, I'm going to start my next yes. cycle again. Yes. And we just keep cycling. Cycle's a good word because it definitely is a cycle. It's a cycle. And it feels never ending sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's cycle number seven. Yeah.